Hello everyone. For the continuing professional development uh, training session number seventeen, uh, for groups one to group number twenty-eight of uh, you know uh, members of any of those, we are discussing alert or case investigation. A walkthrough using Microsoft Excel. Uh, I did this last year in August, so it's been you know almost twelve months. Uh, so I wanted to. There are around. Uh, I did this when there were around uh, group fourteen or something. Yeah, group one to fourteen. So there, uh, there are around thirteen or fourteen more batches that I have started, uh, or ended. You know, so in for those, especially for those new trainees, there are around nine fifty or nine sixty trainees in those fourteen uh, batches from group number fifteen to group number twenty eight or something. So, uh, the group twenty eight means that that is starting. You know, recently. So those who are able to join that batch from ninth of September, but before ninth of September, they can join this as well. discussing how to use excel i'm not going to be training you for the uh, formulas and how to you i'm just going to give you a view which will help you understand you can you know google the formulas and i want you to give you how an aml specialist or analyst extract its alerts based on the region or the branches or the type of products and services that the person is been assigned to how the alerts of the cases are extracted using the automated tool if it's connected with a dashboard or you know uh, either you know you learned your sql and you extracted using the queries uh, how you are going to level out the uh, alerts using the risk based approach level 1 level 2 or l3 customers uh, what issues do you face when you have missing kyc so your bad kyc in your bank and uh, when you are uh, you know generate uh, reviewing the alerts how you can uh, how you can uh, email your particular first line to to the re kyc of the customer and lastly when you are filing the str on the customer what type of uh, data and how the data is actually maintained so technical training session uh, uh you know i i waited for a month uh, for a year to you know do this i have documents for it for you to to show you that how it will help you in different ways so kindly join live uh, if you belong to any of those batches group 1 to group number 28 I'm not going to be sharing the recordings. You have to join live, uh, attend the full two hours of it. I will issue you the also the certificate of attendance or certificates of you know joining or something of those two these two years. These are the timing that the, the timings are fixed. Whenever you have attended the CPD of the previous uh, out of the any of the sixteen CPDs, this is the same time Saturday, uh, two hours. Please join. If you have no experience in anti-money laundering, or you are just starting your AML career, or you just started, you have just one, two, or three years of experience, this will help you out to understand how technically uh, alerts are reviewed for a uh, diverse type of customers. Uh, we're going to discuss alert generation and case generation as well. What's the difference between the two? Using uh, FCCM, man charts, or SAS, or something. Okay. See you on ninth of September. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.